In this video, we're going to take a look at this very basic looking precedence table, and we're going to try and draw the activity network for this. So we've got activities A and B, they don't depend on anything. So at our start node, activities A and B, we can label that zero. We then have that activity C relies on both A and B. So instead of drawing that first, what I'll do is I'll draw activity D first. So activity D relies on just A. So I'll label that 1. Now, activity C relies on both A and B. Now, the problem is this, that um, I could have uh, this arc kind of sweep around and hit that node. Um, but the problem with that is that that would then be saying that activity D relies on activity A and activity B. So I can't have this kind of multiple edge situation here. So I need to find another way around that. So instead, what we introduce is what's referred to as a dummy activity. Now, a dummy activity essentially allows me to join up A and B. So from this event here, I'm going to draw a dashed line that will intersect with B, like so. And I'm going to put an arrow on it, indicating the direction. So this activity, I don't need to label it with a letter because it doesn't actually exist. It's a dummy activity. Um, and it's got a duration of zero. So there's no time attached to it. And then I can have my activity C coming off of that node. Now, of course, I do also now need C and D connecting, and I'll redraw it in a moment. But this is what the dummy activity is there to do. It allows me to connect up activities A and B. So that's my dummy activity represented by a dash line. So now I need to finish this off by connecting C and D. So I'm going to redraw C so it's going up something like that. There's C connecting at this node. I'll call that 3. And that's my finishing node, my sink. OK, so that is a very simple situation um, where the dummy activity is required. It's best practice to minimize the number of dummies that are used. So it's quite often that questions uh, linked with this will ask you to draw the activity network based on the precedence table using as few dummies as possible. They might tell you how many dummies are required. Um, so just carefully read the question when you're doing it. 